is electric steering. You sacrifice some amount of steering feel for uh, a camera. Hey, yep, let's chase. Let's chase. Let's do it. They have a biker with them. segment. Yes, it is a very high incline average slope of about 7%. Um, that, and I'm not trying to ride their ass right now. True, yes. That, yeah, that, that is weird. out of a yeah, safety thing, uh, more than a courtesy thing. How much horsepower does this have? This has 155 horsepower. Uh, so ND1 then? Yes, it is an ND1. Um, it makes less than the NC, but more than the NA and the NB. It better. And it weighs about 2350 without me inside of it. Looks like he's, uh, ah, there we go, good, good. Ah, uh, yes, I'm in third gear. We're just, we're gonna stay here. Alright. Alright. Luckily, you do know this road, so... I do know this road. The two people in front of us also know this road very well. That's good, we're taking that variable out. Uh, you've only had this car for a couple of months, right? But you did have many track days with it, relatively. Not that many. Relative to your ownership. Yeah. Mount. So how well would you say you know this setup? Not that well. It's still very new to me, driving light cars and driving rear-wheel drive cars. So let's see, we hit traffic here. What what car did you uh, start from? Uh, let's see if they let us buy it. They will. Yep. Um, the car that I started with was a Subaru WRX. Um, Vastly different. Very different oh, car. Sure. Heavy and all-wheel drive. Heavy all-wheel drive, understeering mode. A little bit, yes. Of course, they were both modern cars. Uh, you have the V8 chassis. Uh, yeah. These all have good control systems, but this, like on a scale of one to ten, how much of a driver's car would you say this is? Significantly more. The Subaru was a economy car. Uh, an economy car. Yes, it was an economy car. It was an economy car with a little bit more power. 
What's up? You're going that way, right? All right, then. All right. Catch you later, then. Goodbye. Yeah. Uh, no promises. Here we are going into a more uh, high speed segment. Yeah, this segment is even more high speed than what we just went through, which is already considered fairly high speed. Right. It is a day, so we will not go too quickly. Um, oh, and the sun. I forget. There's uh, a lot of sun back here. That's right, yeah. Actually, that's it's very hard to see. Let me just put on my sunglasses here. That's a great demonstration of how stable this ND is. You can just take two hands off and casually put on your sunglasses. Yeah, while flooring it in fourth gear. Jeez. Sorry. Right. Um, now, you know, comparing that to the previous Miatas, I know you didn't drive the NC, you've driven the NA and NB. Yes. Um, it's, it very much keeps uh, the spirit of the NA and the NB in being a light, low horsepower car. Um, it's extremely fun to drive. Uh, it may not, it's significantly slower car for car than some other cars you can buy, definitely. Um, but it's way more fun to drive. And now which one is more fun? Well, just uh, in general, kind of a Miata versus other cars. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. What about uh, Miatas versus the Miatas? You know, which the F? The NA, the NB, and the ND can all be fun to drive. Like, I think if we were to make a stock-to-stock -stock comparison, you could rate them in order. But I also think that comparison is useless um, because of how easy it is to not be stock. Okay, got it. Usually that's what most people go for. A lot of people feel like there's a raw authenticity to the older cars made in the era, you know, back when John Lennon was beating his wife. 